Okay. Hey, everybody. This is Mr. Lehman. Um, miss you guys. Hope you're doing well and that you had a good March break. Uh, today, I'm going to be just walking you through a couple of things for you guys to be practicing on your recorders over the next couple of weeks. Um, yeah, just to, to begin, we've been learning how to, to read music. And so you guys have been looking at the different lines and spaces. Um, so make sure that you finish up those pages and that you're able to um, know where each note is on each line and on each space. Um, if I had a, let me get a piece of paper here so that I can remind you. So this might be backwards, but if you remember, there's five lines on a staff. And we have F, A, C, E. F, A, C, E. I know it's backwards here, but F, A, C, and E. Those notes are on the spaces. And then we have E, G, B, D, F. So there's an E, G, B, D, and F. If you guys remember, that's what's been on our on our pages. Um, now, before we actually jump into playing uh, your recorder, it's really important. I'm going to highlight the notes. So the two notes, A and B. Okay, so that there's a there's a B note and an A note, and those are the first notes that we are going to be playing on the recorder. So once you guys have, once you understand that there's an A note and a B note, an A note is on the space and a B note is on the third line. Sorry, it's getting a little blurry there. There we go. Then you can move to the page that looks like this. It says, let's begin. And I'm sorry, things are backwards here. Um, try to figure that out for the future. But basically what we're going to be starting with is the B note. And this is the first song that you're going to play. Now, as you look at the different notes here, you'll notice there's a, that there is a bunch of um, notes on each of these lines. What I'd like you to do, if you haven't already, is I'd like you to write the names of the notes above each of the line, each of the notes. So I'll show you what that looks like. B, 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 B. So I'll just do the top line here just for time's sake. So you can see I wrote a B. Remember, that's the third line up. B, 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 B. The next thing I want you to do is I want you to write the number that each note is worth. And I'll show you what that looks like. I'll use a different colored pen. Use a red pen for this. One, 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 two, two, one, 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 four. Look right there, you can see. So these are quarter notes, these are half notes, and those are whole notes. A quarter note is worth one beat, half note is worth two beats, and a whole note is worth four beats. <coughs> Excuse me. You'll find more, parents, you'll find more about that on the page before. That looks like this. And this tells you how many beats, if it's one, two, three, or four, what type of note uh, to look at. So once you've done that, once you've written in the note name and the note length, then what you can begin to do is you can begin to practice. So how I would practice is I would start with, um, I would start by saying do. This is the easiest way because when we're actually blowing in a recorder, do, 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 we're blowing into it. Do, do, do. It's the same as when I'm saying do. 
So if I was to mouth this pattern here at the top line, it would be do, 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 do. Notice that I said do for each for each uh, note. So if it's worth one beat, then I just said do pretty quickly. When I said when it's a when it's two beats, I went do, and when it's four, I went do. So if we do that again, do 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 do. So you can practice doing that, and then finally. What you're going to do is you're going to take your recorder and you're going to play a B note. Now we already practiced B as a class, but you'll notice my thumb is on the hole at the back and then my first finger is on the first hole at the top. And then I can start blowing in like that. You can also see that that's written on the page as well looks like this at the very top. So that, that right there, that's the thumb, and that's the first finger. And that equals a B note right there. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to practice playing that pattern that I mouthed by saying do. I'm going to practice playing it, and it'll sound like this. This is the first line. So notice I held each note for each amount of beats, and I used my tongue. Do do do. I'm using my tongue to actually stop the air that's flowing through my my breath. And ones and twos, you remember that when we're blowing into a recorder, we're not blowing out a birthday cake candle. We're just blowing softly. So that's where I would begin, and I think that's going to take you the next couple of weeks just to kind of practice that. Um, once you've once you've learned how to do song number one, um, which is just B, and you've done both lines of it, then you can move to number two, which is just A. And it's very similar. You're going to do the same thing where you write the note name, the note length, and then mouth it. Do, do, do. And then you're going to play just A. Now you'll notice for A, which is a different note, there's going to be two fingers on the top and your thumb always at the back. And that's what an A sounds like. And then you can go ahead and play that song as well. If you have any questions or comments, please uh, feel free to reach out to me. Happy practicing grade ones and twos.